The Cleveland Bay, a horse with a rich history and heritage, but a breed few are actually familiar with or own. So few, in fact, that the breed resides on the Equus Survival Trust list of endangered breeds. With fewer than 700 of these magnificent horses in the world and just 200 of them in North America, the Cleveland Bay teeters on the prospect of extinction. In North America, a dedicated group of stewards of the breed are making a concerted effort to increase both awareness and interest in what may truly be one of the most versatile breeds of horses in the world, but also one of the least known. By increasing awareness and interest of the many attributes and versatility of this special breed, the owners hope to increase its numbers and ensure its survival well into the future. As its name suggests, the Cleveland Bay emanates from the Cleveland area of Northeast England. Without doubt, it is Britain's oldest breed of horse that has been fixed in type much longer than the official UK's Breed Registry Foundation date suggests. Interestingly enough, the church played a very large role in their breeding. Throughout the Middle Ages, the monastic houses in Northeast England were the principal breeders of horses. Pack horses were needed for the trading of goods between the various abbeys and monasteries. Most certainly, the ancestors of today's Cleveland Bays, particularly on the female side, were such pack horses bred in the Yorkshire Dales. Locally, they were known as Chapman horses, the name being derived from the name given to packmen and itinerant peddlers of those days known as Chapman. Into the port of Whitby, England came an influx of barb horses, and these refined stallions were bred with Chapman mares. Before the end of the 17th century, the main ingredient of the Cleveland Bay, the Chapman and the Barb, had come together to form the type of powerful horse whose popularity as a pack and harness horse was beginning to spread beyond the Northeast English countryside. The next century saw an increase in weight and size of these horses, better feeding being one of the reasons. The result was a versatile horse that found many uses beyond agricultural horses drawing carts and wagons for the monasteries. A demand for faster and flashier carriage horses resulted in some breeders crossing their Clevelands with strong thoroughbreds. These offspring became known as the Yorkshire Coach Horse, a tall, elegant carriage horse, much in demand by the rich and royal of the time. But no Yorkshire Coach Horses remain today. Her Majesty the Queen has kept Cleveland Bays at the Royal Mews since King George V introduced them, and the Hampton Court Stud still actively breeds Clevelands for state and ceremonial duties. At every state event, the Royal Cleveland Bays will be seen drawing the state coaches. Her Majesty's coach by tradition is always drawn by Windsor Greys, but the other members of the royal family and guests are drawn by the Cleveland Bays. It's a testament to their temperament that they've been selected for such important duties. The Queen also contributed to keeping the Cleveland Bay bloodlines alive by purchasing Mulgrave Supreme, one of the four remaining stallions left in the breed, to prevent his export outside of England. Although originating in England, the Cleveland Bay made its way to the United States and was a favorite of an American icon. Buffalo Bill Cody, an American soldier, bison hunter, and showman whose Wild West show thrilled spectators around the country, was an avid owner and breeder of Cleveland Bays, having registered 12 stallions and 14 mares in the American Cleveland Bay stud book. As its name suggests, they are always bay in color, brown with black legs, mane and tail. Their action is level, free and long striding. They are extremely prepotent, meaning their quality and traits are passed on to their progeny. This makes them an ideal outcross, especially with thoroughbreds, and owners of purebred Cleveland Bays encourage crossbreeding to strengthen the attributes of other breeds. 
To this day, one may still detect two types of Cleveland. The smaller, resembling the Chapman, and the taller, resembling the Yorkshire coach horses. Both still retain the bone and substance of their ancestors. The coming of the automobile and tractor put an end to the need for Cleveland Bays as workhorses and their breeding went into decline. Many were sold off abroad, but a few dedicated breeders in the northeast of England kept the breed alive. Currently, the breed is still critically rare, with only about 700 purebreds in the world and less than 200 in North America. The dedicated breeders and members belonging to the Cleveland Bay Horse Association of North America endeavor to increase the number of these unique horses and promote the breed in many disciplines. One thing that will readily be apparent is the expression of pure fun and enjoyment these owners have when working with their horses. But what is it about the Cleveland Bay that makes these owners so passionate about their breed? Could versatility be its hallmark? The breed has also been used to develop and improve several warm blood and draft horse breeds. Today, they are used for farm work and driving, as well as under saddle work. They're particularly popular for fox hunting and show jumping, both pure-blooded and when crossed with thoroughbreds. Fox hunting today is a very different sport from the time when it was used primarily to purge the countryside of livestock predators. Today, the object of the hunters on horseback is not to kill the fox, but to listen to their hounds run it. Hounds can only occasionally catch a healthy fox on its home territory, and more typically, the fox retreats to one of its many lairs eluding the hounds. Today, fox hunting is more of a social gathering where friends may enjoy an exhilarating cross-country ride and enjoy the camaraderie of friends and their horses, and the Cleveland Bay is well-suited for this outdoor activity. The Cleveland Bay is also an elegant mount for riding side saddle. Horses used in side saddle riding will have additional training to accustom it to the placement of the rider and the use of the whip to replace offside leg commands. The horse also may need to adapt to a different and higher hand position. The Cleveland Bay can adapt to the basics fairly quickly and can be used for riding both side saddle and astride. A picture of elegance and versatility indeed. One of the most popular activities in horseback riding today is hunt seat riding. Along with dressage, it is one of the two classic forms of English riding. The hunt seat is actually based on the tradition of fox hunting. Hunt seat competition in North America includes both flat and over fences for show hunters, which judge the horse's movement and form. Equitation classes judge the rider's ability both on the flat and over fences. Jumping requires an athletic horse with powerful hindquarters to propel them over fence after fence. And the Cleveland Bay is well suited for this competitive sport.
has a carriage driving horse for pleasure driving or the challenges of a combined driving event, the Cleveland Bay has few equals. At the Lexington Combined Driving Classic, a World Equestrian Games Test at the Kentucky Horse Park, one owner driving a pair of Cleveland Bays at this top tour competition talked about their broad suitability for this activity. Cleveland Bay is, you know, a great carriage horse. They've uh, been pulling the Queen's horses or the Queen's carriages for years, and uh, it's just their temperament that just really got me hooked. Uh, they don't have the leg action probably needed for going higher levels with the combined driving, but for the lower levels, they're just a great horse. I use mine for packing. Uh, I go camping with them. They're great pack animals. Great in the mountains. Uh, great with my kids. My grandchildren love them. They sit on them and they're just so, you know, relaxed around them. We have six purebred mares, uh, one of which is 25 years old and I have donated her to the Therapeutic Riding Center and she now has a new life giving uh, rides to uh, disabled uh, veterans and helping in their real rehabilitation program. I have used her for years for uh, one of my pair of horses, and uh, she's actually Nadia's dam. And uh, so, you know, she has a, another life starting at, you know, she's been there for a year and a half. Nadia here we raised, she's nine years old, and uh, she's uh, just a great horse. A little bit smaller than some of the other Cleveland Bay, she's only 16 1. Um, the other Two of my mares are 16.2 and 16.3, have a lot more bone and substance on them. Um, Trigoid Stella, we imported from England in 93. She has been driving with me for years. Uh, I've competed her uh, intermediate, um, single horse for a number of years, and we did very well. She just, just loves to go out and drive. Uh, my wife uses her as a school horse for ridden dressage and uh, just has a great wanting to go and loves to be used. <laughs> That's the one thing. And uh, did I mention they have a great disposition? Their temperament is just wonderful. That's what really got me hooked on them. They have just that disposition that I like. What makes a good Western pleasure riding or trail riding horse? One with a calm, collected, and sensible demeanor, who is not distracted or frightened by unknown objects they encounter on the trail.
pleasure riding horse should be a pleasure to ride. And the Cleveland Bay is an exceptional mount for western and trail riding. The purebred Cleveland Bay is a very intelligent horse with a sensible temperament. They tend to think and rationalize their way through situations rather than simply react to them. You'll notice how this horse navigates obstacles, moving objects, even road flares making it well suited to parades, crowd control, and mounted security. In build, they have plenty of bone and substance and are hardy with tremendous stamina and longevity. Dressage. One of the most challenging activities in horsemanship to master and one of the most rewarding when you do. But what makes a good dressage horse? It starts with a good temperament and a good mind, one that is trainable and tractable. A solid athletic build with strong hindquarters for impulsion and a well-built shoulder for freedom of movement is a good start. Add to that balance and engagement with a dose of flashy movement and you have the Cleveland Bay.
And although dressage is a difficult discipline to master, these riders are clearly enjoying their partnership and relationship with their horses. The solid and unflappable temperament of the Cleveland Bay makes it an ideal candidate for those who enjoy mounted shooting, an increasingly popular sport among horse enthusiasts. Characteristically, the breed is very bold and honest and are well suited for cross-country events and jumping. Those who know and ride the Cleveland Bay in eventing know of their exceptional stamina, endurance and aptitude for sport horse events. Perhaps the Cleveland's greatest advantage is its versatility. With its heritage rooted as a durable, versatile pack and harness horse, the present day Cleveland is equally versatile in relation to the modern equine disciplines. They make ideal heavyweight hunters, but also possess the necessary quickness for eventing and can be exhibited in the show ring, either as in hand, ridden, or working hunters. As sound, active horses with substance, stamina, and a good, sane temperament, they make excellent police horses. This is an exceptional breed, and you can have a role in the preservation and propagation of its numbers. For more information on this exceptional breed, you may contact members of the Cleveland Bay Horse Society of North America 
will be glad to help you find the perfect Cleveland for your farmer ranch. The Cleveland Bay, a horse with a heritage, a horse for the future.